cases of coronavirus show no signs of slowing down in Latin America. One of most effective fear spread is through our hand, including touch something that has touched by someone else. Since the coronavirus outbreak, we should be more careful. Soap should clean our hand from viruses. But how if it makes us have to touch something that has touched by someone else? Touchless soap dispenser can be a solution for you. In this video, we will learn how to make a DIY simplest and cheapest automatic soap dispenser or alcohol dispenser or even you can use as a water dispenser. So, what do we need to make this? A photodiode sensor module, 2N3906 transistor, 1K ohm of resistor, micro submersible water pump, an old USB cable for power that you can get from power bank, and water container. You can use whatever water container you like, and a mini flexible water tubing. First step, we need two holes for flexible water tubing pipe and wires for water pump. So we drill them. At the center, I give bigger hole for water tubbing and smaller one for wires. Drill for second hole. So now we have two holes. We need to connect the flexible water tubing pipe to the DC pump. And we have to stretch the end of the pipe so that it can fit the water pump. I use the lighter to hit the end of pipe and use the pencil to help it stretch so it can fit the pump. We have to glue the sensor to the water container, so that it will stick there. Make sure that the photodiode is facing forward. After the glue dries, let's solder all electronics component to their position. Look at this simple wiring diagram. In this diagram, we have USB cable from power source, photodiode sensor module, 1K ohm resistor, 2N3906 transistor, and the DC water pump. Make sure the curved transistor face is facing downward, and the flat one is facing upward. Now, solder the transistor emitter pin to ground of the sensor module.
then solder resistor to out pin of sensor module. Soldier the resistor to transistor base pin. Before we continue to solder the DC pump, we need to put the pump inside the water container. So, we should put the flexible water tubbing pipe through the roof of water container and so with the DC pump wires. Now, we can continue the soldering process. Take out the wires from USB cable. The white cable is positive and the black cable is ground. If your USB cable has red wire color, it's the positive. And black is always the ground. And if your USB cable has 4 wires inside, don't worry. Just ignore the two other cable because it's for the data. Always use the positive and ground only. Solder the positive from USB cable and DC pump positive together to the PCC pin of sensor module. Soldier ground from USB cable to ground pin of sensor module. And then solder the negative DC pump cable or the black one to the emitter of transistor. Now, if the soldering process is done, and once you confidence with the wiring, we can glue the entire circuit with glue gun, so it will not easy to break. You can put steel wire inside the water tubbing pipe so it can be stiffer and not shaky. After everything are done, you can connect the USB cable to a charger or power bank if you want to make it portable. Take a look at the sensor module. Left LED is power indicator, so if it turned on, it means your device is ready to use. And the right LED is indicator 
that an object is detected. I try to put my hand closer to the sensor and the LED is light up. It means that my hand is detected. You can adjust the sensitivity or the detection range by rotate the blue potentiometer. Rotate to the right means give longer distance and rotate left means shorter distance detection. Now it's time to test. Thank you for watching and if you think this video is interesting or useful, please consider share, like and subscribe. See you in another video. Bye.